All right, I'll make sure that I put in the, um, like in the links or whatever, um, like a little bit more information about this book. Okay, so I picked this book up yesterday, just obviously because it was the First World War, the Great War, you're coming home. Um, yeah, I picked it up at the thrift store. I didn't really look at it, didn't really think it was going to be much. It was the only Great War book I picked up. Holy smokes, talk about quality over qual uh, quantity. I did get this one as well. <clears throat> Margaret Macmillan Histories People. I was like, yeah, it, well, it had a few Great War people in it. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll pick it up for that. Okay, started reading the preface yesterday. Next thing you know, I'm 33 pages, well, 27 yesterday, uh, into chapter one. I was like, what the hell? It's such a good read. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but that's how good it is. Uh, I was like really impressed. I didn't even realize I was into chapter one, for Christ's sakes. Um, anyways, so here we go. This book, uh, The First World War, Europe, 1914-1918, I didn't really clue in what it was going to be about, The Longman Companion 2. Then my mind went, are you kidding me? Oh my God, did I ever strike gold? That's basically how to say, uh, think about it. Hold on, see if I can do a bit better here. Probably not. But I just really want to tell people about this book. And if you don't have it or you have, I was just, I didn't know it was going to have this information in it. It's a gold mine and a half. Oh my God. Uh, I picked, I paid $7 Canadian. Um, oh God, you probably won't be able to see anything. Sorry. I'll have to do a, maybe I'll try to do a, sorry, a little bit of a. I'll try, so I'm sorry. Uh, let's go to the chapters. Section one, alliances and agreements. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'll try to do better, sorry guys. Chapter two, crises and confrontations. I was just like, it just, okay, there's a mosquito, hold on. He's trying to nail me good. Yeah. I got him. Actually, I'm really good at, uh, uh, for some bizarre reason, I can really uh, nail flies and mosquitoes, like usually in one shot. It's really weird. That one took two. All right. It, I don't know how to explain this book. I, it actually reminded me, I, at first I was like, oh shoot, do I need the... Because uh, I remember in university, I remember there was tons of uh, companion uh, like, you know, the companion to the chemistry, whatever, and, you know, textbook and so on and so forth. And it was just like, so I thought it was going to be something like that. I was like, ah, oh, shoot. But I, <laughs> it's just like, are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? <sighs> Sorry, but my God, look at this. At this. So, good Lord in heaven, what the hell is, what is this? Like I said, I only looked at it and I was losing my marbles constantly. I was like, oh, you're going to be a reference material or source, like there's no, <laughs> this is nuts. I, I'm like, Borderline, you know, borderline tears. I mean, come on. Give me a break. Look at this. Like I said, the, oh, I'm just mouth-watering. This is going to help me out with my game and my exploration so much. It's not funny. Like making some plausible decisions for my game, as well as obviously um, finding out what the hell is going on. Emergent nations, all this stuff I don't have a flipping clue about, and it's so weird. I don't know why I have this reluctance or almost like an avoidance to find out about the, and I know I've got no choice. It's coming around next year, like the Russian Revolution and all the crazy nonsense that's going to happen. I'm like, I don't understand why I'm so avoidant to that amount of chaos. Um, like, yeah, I have no connection to the Russian. <laughs> like, what the world, man? Look at this biographical sketch. Oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's it. I'm just going to say that, um, yeah, I'll put down the links for this. And if you've got this book or you've read it and you're like, oh, yeah, it, it. 
Oh my goodness gracious me, I didn't even know things like this existed. So you can imagine what they probably have for World War II and so on and so forth. Jeepers, jumping. All right, that's it. See ya. Hope you're having fun, man.